Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Rockwell Process Consulting. Today, I wanted to talk about a water treatment case study. Uh, this one involves an ethanol plant and a water treatment system. So uh, the backstory of this is that the ethanol plant would have a pre-filtration before their reverse osmosis system. Those pre-filters would last about three months uh, between changes. And all of a sudden, one day, they just started going through filters about every 30 minutes. Uh, so literally, if you do the math, it's like four or 5,000 times more frequent filter changes. So this is a really major change. Uh, they went from spending maybe a couple hundred bucks a year to they were on pace to spend probably half a million dollars in filters. Uh, that's a sidebar, uh, which would also affect the vendor that was selling them to them, uh, potentially running out. Uh, and, and they were in, in fear of that. So they just weren't able to even get, they were barely able to get filters fast enough. Um, and the vendor was having to scramble and get them from all over the country, beg, borrow, and steal from all their other customers to try to get this one particular ethanol plant, which is a really large one, uh, to prevent them from shutting down the whole plant. That would have cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars a day in lost production, uh, probably would have lost a bunch of their contracts, uh, continuing down the line uh, of more cascade effects uh, negatively. Uh, there was a CO2 plant tied to them. That plant would have also been shut down uh, in turn. They would have jeopardized their uh, contracts as well. So this is a really big deal. Uh, and they the vendor brought in other sales reps, other engineers uh, from across the country to try to figure out this problem that was lasting for weeks. Uh, they even brought in an RO expert who actually had written a book on reverse osmosis systems. Uh, and that person couldn't figure out the problem either. Uh, so I was called in to take a look at this, uh, this problem. And I was there for a few days, checking everything, making sure that they had done everything right, found some other alternative solutions they could have done in the meantime while we figured out what the problem really was. Uh, I was able to figure that out in just like a day of, of testing uh, to put in some other temporary, uh, more, uh, uh, you know, polymer and filtration systems that were, that were much more manageable uh, than going through that extremely rapid pace of cartridge filters. Uh, so that bought us some time to troubleshoot some more. And the one day I was driving in from the hotel and driving down the road and it had been torn up uh, with construction and, you know, it had been raining. So there's washboards on the road and I'm sitting there driving down, you know, the cars rumbling and I'm looking over at the side of the road, seeing all these trucks driving around and it just hit me like a ton of bricks uh, that what was happening so I went in and asked the uh, the management, you know, when when did this happen? Oh, it was a, a couple of weeks ago it started. I said, yeah, but what day exactly? And it took them a while to figure out, looking through the data, what day it actually started because they didn't have uh, some as much uh, data tracking as as we would all hope. Uh, so they had to dig through some records to figure it out, and and then I went and figured out what day the construction had started, uh, they had, uh, they were not believing my theory that, that the construction had anything to do with it. We had checked everything else. And uh, it turns out those had started on the same day. Uh, and the construction ended up stopping. And they didn't, uh, they didn't do anything. They didn't change what, what the uh, procedures were at the plant. They just kept my filter filtration in place. And then all of a sudden, the, the problem just disappeared. And I, I called them back and said, well, what day did it end? And it was at the same day as the construction ended. And they, they said, they admitted that, yeah, it was the same day as the construction. So what had happened was the, uh, all the heavy equipment rumbling down the road was shaking the pipes, the water main that was running under that road. Um, and that the sediment over time builds up in the bottom of that pipe and with all that heavy equipment running over the top of it just slowly uh shook up what was there and it was just coming in and blinding over those filters uh, but there was so much of it in the pipe 
and it was just coming so slowly that it just kept going. Uh, so that was what ended up happening there. So sometimes you really got to think outside the box, way outside the box. And sometimes what's going on outside your property, we were looking at, um, you know, bacterial growth, uh, sedimentation, anything that we could think of uh, all over the plant, nothing seemed to be wrong. And it, you know, it was something actually happening outside of the plant. Um, and no one else was getting complaints because this particular facility was at the end of the the water main. So they were the only ones having a problem. And since none of the other town customers, residents were complaining, uh, they didn't think that it was the, the town water supply. So they thought it was internal. And so, you know, that just goes to show it, it can really take some really outside the box thinking uh, to figure things out like that. But uh, any problem is, is solvable. So if you've had some uh, filtration issues or any other uh, challenges, in your facility that, uh, or your company that uh, other people have been un unable to solve and you'd like to uh, have another company take a look at it, uh, get a fresh set of eyes, uh, or even just take a look through your company to see what you could do better, uh, increase your efficiencies on some of the processes. I've got some other uh, videos on those. Uh, go ahead and leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. Uh, if you found this helpful, interesting, uh, go ahead and give it a like, and we'd appreciate your subscription if you think you earned it. Uh, every little bit helps. And if you think this could help someone else, go ahead and forward it on to them. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Have a great day.